How's it going lads? Marshall here and welcome to the review of Second in Form Diego Costa. If you do want some coins to possibly pick him up, head over to FIFAninja.com, use the code M89 to get yourself 5% off. Everything that you will need is in that description below and I'm actually... <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing, I'm pointing to the description like you can see is on camera, but anyways, just ignore me, he's costing 1.3 million on the Xbox, 2.1 million on the PlayStation, 3 star skills, 4 star weak foot, high to medium work rates, and he actually scored me 15 goals in 6 games, but EA being a year, they kicked me out of a game 88 minutes in, didn't award me the goals and awarded me the game, I just... I don't get EA at times, I really don't, but anyways, I'm here for Diego Costa, in terms of stats, 91 aggression, 93 attack and positioning, 87 sprint speed and 93 strength, 86 ball control, 86 dribbling, 96 finishing, this guy in front of goal is a god, now the words tank, the words beast, the words monster, they get thrown around quite a lot in the FIFA community, like for Akin Fenwa, for MNEK, but this guy, my good god, he's a tank, he's a beast, he's a monster, he's a god, he's whatever you want to call him because he's physically strong. I mean, this guy, he can just power his way past anyone on the game. His strength is ridiculously good and that is definitely a pro because he can boss defenders about, he can push them in the area and he's just a great all-round player. In terms of pros, you've got first touch, fantastic, you've seen it there. He got the ball, he got it out of his feet and he did put it in the back of the net. Similarly, there, he took it on his chest, he took a second touch and he put it in the back of the net, you will see it for a third time, look at how good this touch is on his chest, it gives him the chance to do whatever the hell he does please with the ball once his first touch is achieved, in terms of finishing, fantastic, one of the best on the game without a shadow of a doubt, he will score 95% of the chances that you give Diego Costa because he's just a predator, honestly, you give him the ball, he will find the back of the net, like I said, 95% of the time, in in terms of movement, fantastic, and it is needed for a guy with low acceleration because without the acceleration, you need to be in space to receive the ball to do one twos because you're not going to get that instant burst of acceleration that can take like strikers like Gabiak Bonlahor, for example, pass players with ease. Diego Costa, he doesn't have that instant burst of acceleration, so he needs to use his brain, his movement needs to be good, and boy oh boy, is it good. In terms of hold up play, class. Utter, utter class. This guy could be a target man, he could be a poacher, he could be whatever the hell you want him to be. And in terms of strength, one of the strongest players I've used on this game for a striker. <laughs> what a free kick that was. I hit the wall, come back, and I did sap it past the goalkeeper. In terms of cons, his agility, he can't dribble like a bloody bus at times because he's big, he's strong, and he's just, uh, it's unnatural. Honestly, it feels sluggish when you do try to dribble, but um, it is achievable from time the time so overall he does get a rating of 9.4 he's an utter quality striker and he does guarantee you goals so that will be it for this review i hope you have enjoyed smash that thumbs up button if you have subscribe if you haven't already and i will catch you all next time